to my channel. So I hope everyone's been enjoying their week and their weekend. So today I'm going to film two videos for you. Um, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, that way you can see all my newest videos and get the notification as soon as it's posted. Um, so I was on a small vacation with my family. Uh, we just got back yesterday, so, you know, it was more just quality time, nothing crazy, we didn't really leave the state, we just, you know, chilled, which is sometimes all you really need on a vacation is just to, like, relax and, like, forget about things. So, um, while I was on vacation, my two packages that I ordered, um, came in the mail. So, one of them was Nordstrom Rack, um, that one I spoke about, a I think last week or a couple weeks ago, um, that I placed a huge order with their Too Faced anniversary sale um, that was 50% off. We'll get into that in the next video, but right now I'm going to concentrate on the one package that I got um, from Crown Brush. So they recently had a sale last week and it was 90% off on most of their items, I believe, if not the whole entire site. Um, don't quote me on that, but it was 90% off and there was 90% off on their brushes. Now, I love crown brushes. Um, I don't have many. I have a few only, um, so far, but when I saw the sale, I was like, I have to get it. They have this huge sale and it was like, even the sets were 90% off and I was like, I have to snag them. Crown brushes are really similar to Morphe brushes, which I would love to compare them for you. I've used Morphe brushes, like when I've gone into stores, I've seen how they are, but I've actually never purchased any myself, so I can't tell you. I have Morphe palettes, um, I have three of them, but I haven't bought their brushes, even though that's what I originally wanted, but a friend of mine told me that Crown and Morphe are very, very similar, so um, I found that Crown was had a huge sale, and they always have sales, so I figured I'd snag them. So it came in a regular package, um, and it's kind of heavy. I got this set that came with 35 pieces, um, because, like, why not? I mean, might as well get the one that has the most in them. Um, so I have all these brushes to use. Now, my biggest thing is that I always wanted an apron. So I'm an aspiring makeup artist. I don't have any clients. Um, I practice mainly on myself. But um, in the future, I would love to do other people's makeup besides my own. So I said, why the hell not? Get the whole package, get the one that has all the brushes, and then get it with the apron on it. So this is literally how it came. This is 35-piece set. This is their apron with the buckle. Um, and then this is 35 different brushes. So I'm really excited that all these came. I have brushes already, like, tons. I have, like, three of these um, filled up. But you can never have too many brushes. And a true makeup girl would know that. You, there's never too many. Um, so I'm, like, really excited to see how these are. I am not going to, like... I don't know. I'll see if I can open every single one of them up. I'm not going to know definitely the difference. But they do have names on some of them. Um, this one is called the, uh, BK6 Flat Bronzer Brush. So, I love Crown because even though they're, uh, they're synthetic, as you can see, like, a few of them have loose, uh, hairs here, which is fine. You know, you just trim them off or pull them out, whichever ones are loose. Um, I like that they're soft. I had gotten a Crown brush from one of my ipsy bags in the past and i was like "Ooh, i have to get this so this to me looks very similar like another flat bronzer brush except a little bit larger you could see in the bristles there that this one's wider um let's see and then this one i would consider very similar but smaller this is more like a kabuki brush i would assume so you have three different sizes you could see here those um, this is a pointed dome here. So this is their pointed dome. What is it? BK2. We have another dome here. This is, this is a mineral powder. So this is like if you have like a mineral powder foundation, you could use this brush. 
so some of them have names on it some of them don't um what's good about them is that uh you know you have these names so that way you can it makes it easier for an artist to know what goes mainly with what like what you could use it for although you could use any brush you want with whatever you want um if that's what's easiest for you but it helps when you have the specific brush that's meant for what it's for um so this is the crown uh deluxe kabuki fan brush i never had a fan brush so i'm really excited this is usually meant for highlighters because as you see i have highlighter on this is the fancy highlighter um it would just brush along the side like that so it's like a nice fell swoop it makes things a lot easier this is the angle lash brush which you know i feel like everyone has like a million and one of these so you could use this for your brow you could use this for your lashes whatever you like sometimes you can use the comb to comb out the lashes so it gets rid of some clumps and then you have the brush that you can use for the brows so that's always good this looks like another pointed dome, just a, a little bit larger. And we have even a larger one here. So there's a few repeats, just in different sizes. So this is a large pointed dome. Um, not really positive what you would use this one for. Maybe for a translucent powder, something that could cover a mass amount of surface. Or you could dry brush a face with this. I think that would be ideal. Um, and this one's large too this is like really nice i like the feel of them they're really really soft um once i try them all out which i probably won't be using all 35 anytime soon but you know this is an angled blush brush this is bk32 so it's angled this is just to kind of get the same effect like the fan does it all the way up here but for the blush you really just want it on the cheekbone so an angled brush really helps with that and um this is item number bk26 this is a chisel powder deluxe chisel powder brush um so we have that um let's see what else do we have here we, this one doesn't say but this one is usually a foundation brush i have a few of these i have one from mary Kay that i had from years ago very really similar shape this mary Kay one is a little bit wider but this one, same idea. You know, it's a foundation brush you could mostly use it for. But like I said, if you have other ways that you want to use the, the brushes, by all means use it for whatever purpose you feel is going to work best for you. This is a deluxe soft fan. So it's this fan brush just like the other one, except this one's smaller. Um, I do see a few. I'm noticing a lot of bristles kind of being like out. Like, you, I don't know if you guys could see that. There you go. So when the bristles are out like that, you know, you just trim them. Um, I'm not really going to be picky or nitpicky about it because the original product was $200 and I only paid, I believe, 30 bucks. So I'm not going to complain here. Um, this is an oval shadow brush. We have the round angle blender. So there's some of these brushes I've never used before. I've never even seen these shapes. But it's good to know that I have options that I can try things out. Um, this one's an oval shadow brush as well. This was just a little bit larger. This one's kind of like the standard like packing brush that like ever since you were a little kid, you get in like every makeup thing. <laughs> so it's like that uh, um, spongy pad triangle shape that you get like with everything as you're getting anything with makeup it always has it like with the eyeshadows um this is the bullet crease so this is a crease brush that would be for right here okay so you would follow your crease now the crease isn't necessarily in where when you when you go like this and you see your lid that's not necessarily the crease the crease is the space between the brow and that so that hump is the crease um and let's see what else do we have here this is a blending fluff so blending fluff is usually like a dry brush. You would use this as like a dry brush to kind of blend everything together. Um, let's see, we have an oval smudger. So a smudger is mainly like if you have a liner, mine's a liquid liner, but if you have a standard like gel liner or dip liner, you would use it this to kind of smudge it out and give it that really nice smoky effect. 
so that way it looks a little messy and not so clean and precise like the one I have on now. Um, this is an angled brush. Okay, so I would use this for the brow, like if you have a dip brow, like I have my Anastasia on, I could use this to shape the brow. Um, let's see, this one is another angled um, flat brush. So we've got that. So there's a few repeats here. This one's an angle eyeliner. So you could even use this for eyeliner. So even though it's the same shape as the other angled brush, some of them are thinner. So the eyeliner one, you might want to use the thinnest one to get like the nice precise line. Um, let's see. This is another angled blush brush. We have that here. Uh, this is a deluxe blending fluff. So we have the other blending fluff, that's the deluxe version, so it's larger. This is another oval foundation brush, so just like the other one, but this is a larger surface. I'm going through these fast because there's a lot, so sorry. Um, this is a points D-liner. So this is a liner brush, but it's just really, really pointy. Um, let's see, this one is a pointed crease. So this is crease, but when it's pointed like that, it means it, it'll be more detailed, more in there rather than so wide and spread out. Like this is also a crease brush right here. I'll show you from Urban Decay. This is a crease brush, but you see how this one's wider than this. So this is going to be more direct and it's going to hold more pigment on it. Um... Let's see. And then this one is a rounded crease. So it's a little bit wider, not by much. Then this is the brow brush, I call it. This is the brow and lash brush, but I use it for my brows. This is a mascara spoolie. Um, I use it to kind of brush out my brows, but this is a spoolie. So you could always dip it in any mascara and use it like that and make sure to always disinfect and wash afterwards. Um, this one is a deluxe oval lip, so this is for your lips. So it's a lot wider, it's not as detailed. I wouldn't use this to detail any lining, this is to kind of just literally apply the lipstick or lip gloss. Um, and this is a chisel fluff, this is BK39, and this one is called the it doesn't have a name, but this I would use to detail your lips for sure, because then you could kind of, the shape of the brush allows you to kind of just go like this, and like this, and really shape things. So it looks almost like a dental thing, like you know when they scrape in, in your mouth, that's what that looks like, but this is meant for your lips. Um, but like I said, whatever you feel is gonna work best for you using those brushes, use them for that. Um, and then it comes with the apron, so this apron's wide, it's very large, so we're going to open this up. Now, this is the Luna Badger 35-piece um, set on their website, crownbrush.com. If you sign up as like a pro or like an aspiring makeup artist, like when you have something, you might still get... Um, things like percent off. I'm not a full makeup artist, but I managed to still get those emails um, that, you know, 30% off here, 40% off there, and things like that. So, you know, it helps. So, like, I got this. This was all 90% off. So, I paid only $30 to $40 with shipping and tax when it was originally $200. So, it's a really, really good steal. And this comes like this, and this is the buckle. You would wrap this around your waist, and that way you have all your brushes right then and there um, when you're doing someone's makeup. So, um, yeah, that's all I have for this video. So stay tuned for the next video where you'll see the makeup that I purchased through Nordstrom Rack's app during their anniversary sale for Too Faced. So that's exciting, so stay tuned for that. And if you aren't already subscribed, like I said, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.